to come and uh, uh, to come and uh, verify or to come and uh, be part of those who are verifying the voters' registration. I think to us as Zambians, it clearly shows that. Uh, or let me just put it to himself that is not. Uh, if he was in government, he would want the foreigners to come and dictate terms and supervise. Supervising is a very, very simple job, which anyone can do. In short, is he telling us that we are not capable of verifying our own voters' registration as Zambians? Fifty years after independence, we don't have capable, intelligent, determined uh, departments that can do that or including the churches and what have you, where are they? You see, I think knowing Haka in the Hichilema, he always wants to attract attention. More especially he wants the foreign, uh, you know, he wants foreign intervention into our uh, politics of uh, this country. I think that should not be allowed and people should not allow him to do that. Why, what can't we do? We have done everything, in, in most especially under the leadership of President Ed Galum. We comply with what the AU wants, with what the world wants us to do in terms of elections when it's election time. So why should we want the AU now to come and verify? I think that should not even be entertained. We are capable of running our own affairs when it comes to politics, when it comes to such matters of importance like voter registration. Does, he, does it mean that he's also uh, conceding defeat? In a way, you see, he's already conceding defeat. And you see, just um, in fact, arising from what has happened today, where his former spokesperson, uh, Kakoma, uh, our brother Kakoma, has defected to the ruling party. There are other political parties, but he refused to go there because he has seen that there is, where there is wise leadership, it's only in PF under the, the presidency of uh, President Eddie Galungu. So he has already seen that he's not going anywhere, which is a fact. It's not the better one. It's a fact. Today, let me tell you, there is no other to my political party. Even if I'm with his party today, you think you can match it with the PF. It's far from it. It's far from winning, in fact, a general election. The only party today which can win a general election without any qualms is the Patriotic Front under the wise leadership and able leadership of President David Garland. So already has started crying fire. You will see now when election time comes, he will now want to petition. This time around, we are not going to allow him to petition. Why I say so is because we will ensure that the gap is just too wide for him to even think of petitioning. Because even where he's going to petition the Electoral Commission of Zambia, they will just be laughing at him. As I said, I think a few weeks ago, I said, I think, uh, Brother HH, if you are watching me, I think start preparing for your retirement on August 12th. Maybe just to add a few days to 12, you know, take maybe two, three days, August 15. I think he should retire. People are fatigued. How do you lose so, so many years and you just want to be a president? And yet you've only got a small clique of people that support you and you think you can win the presidency. It doesn't work that way. I think he should focus more on rearing his animals and uh, his so-called business uh, so that I think, uh, I think in that line he can do better. But coming to politics of today, I don't think uh, to Zambians are ready to have a leader like Haka in the Hitler. Uh, and what does it make sense uh, running to the international community each time? When that's what I said. Why do you run to the international community unless there's a problem? But we don't see a problem. Uh, we, I'm not saying as PF, but as Zambians, are we seeing any problem? I don't think there's a problem whatsoever for us to start running to the international community. Already in its weather, in its form, is already conceding defeat. He knows that he has no numbers. But he's just shy to tell his followers that colleagues, we are not going any, anyway. Just be open, Brother HH. Tell your people that you are not going anywhere. And let me tell you, we are on the ground. We have seen what is happening. President, uh, President uh, Edgar Lungu has performed exceedingly well in terms of running this country, including the economy. If you look at the economy, there is nothing that uh, HH can come and change, which President Edgar Lungu hasn't done.
There is a world recession in this country, but Zambia, Zambia is doing fine as far as world recession is concerned. Just those who travel to South Africa or Mwewaya Kumakoro, those who just go into Makoro, they I think they should bring the message and tell the people of Zambia how comfortable we are. COVID situation, President Edgar Lungu has contained it very well. He has done exceedingly well. In South Africa, COVID is rising. Here, at least it's stable, and at some point, it's, uh, it's, it's, it's reducing. Mm -hmm. And uh, maybe, what does the massive defection in the European entail? Oh, massive defection? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Come on, young man. Massive defection means mm -hmm. that people are fatigued, mm -hmm. more especially Kakoma, the one who was defected today. Mm -hmm. Let me tell you, in all essence, that is part of fatigue. It's fatiguing to see a leader again contesting an election which you will not even go through. People are fatigued. So what you are seeing, I'm sure, is what will reflect, in fact, truly reflect come August 12th. People that HH think are with him, eh? they will not vote for him. They will vote otherwise. They will vote for, for patriotic friend. Mm -hmm. Anyway, we are here to stay for now. We are here to stay. Come 20, 2021, August 12th, President Lungu is still our president. Are we seeing more coming? Uh, you will see more. Up to the time that we go for a general election, more will be coming. Even my brother's Gambuiri party, if he's not careful, he'll find that he's just alone. People are also now contemplating of coming to PF because of the wise leadership of President Edgar Lungu. They have seen that the leadership today in this country borders on President Edgar Long. He has done exceedingly well. Thank you, Honor.